Welcome to Grace Digital Presentation. In this video, we discuss when God rises in battle for his children. In one way or another, we have all been confronted with problems so intense that so much time is spent just trying to keep our heads above the water. I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I cursed his habitation. His children are far from safety, and they are crushed in the gate, neither is there any to deliver them whose harvest the hungry eateth up, and taketh it even out of the thorns. And the robber swalloweth up their substance, although affliction cometh not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out of the ground. Yet man is born unto trouble, as the sparks fly upward. Job 5, 3-7 KJV A longing for victory is therefore a natural longing that we all have. A desire to win over life's challenge is intrinsic, and God planted. In fact, this reality has led people in a lot of cultures to seek for diabolical powers, from cults and demonic individuals, just so they can have a sense of protection against seen and unseen attacks. Eventually, they end up with more battles, because bringing evil forces to fight other evil forces is just multiplying the devil's influence in their lives. Psalm 16, 4 and 5 those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. A wise man once said, life is a battlefield and not a playground. However, if we must win in this battle, then we need to apply the right methods and have the right strategies in place or we could end up scarred or terribly discouraged. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and a stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth bows like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the waters fail from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not. Till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. Job 14, 1 and 2, and 5 through 12 KJV. No man is effectively equipped to confront and emerge victorious in all the battles that confront man on their own. First, it is important to recognize who the main adversary is. No matter the area where we sense an attack, whether spiritually, in our health, body, mind, family, or marriage. The enemy remains the same old foe. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9 KJV he has somehow perfected the art of throwing challenges, discouragement, and everything that disillusion against us. He will even use people and circumstances to push us over the edge or derail us from our purpose in life. Therefore, I went about to cause my heart to despair all of the labor which I took under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and iniquity. Yet to a man that hath not labored therein shall he leave it for his portion, this also is vanity and a great evil. For what hath man of all his labor, and of the vexation of his heart, wherein he hath labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows, and his travail grief. His heart taketh not rest in the night, this is also vanity. Ecclesiastes 2, 20-23 KJV Scriptures show us the extent of the battles we face. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery? and life unto the bitter in soul, which long for death, but it cometh not, and dig for it more than for hid treasures, which rejoice exceedingly and are glad, when they can find the grave. 
Why is light given to a man whose way is hid, and whom God hath hedged in? For my sighing cometh before I eat, my roarings are poured out like the waters. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. I was not in safety, neither had I rest, neither was I quiet, yet trouble came. Job 3, 20-26 KJV Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth, and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down, and withereth. For we are consumed by thy anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. If by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Psalm 93, 5-10 KJV These scriptures point to the fact that man is condemned to a life of troubles, battles, and conflicts all through his days on the earth. But thankfully, God always has a way out. When God is involved, the devil can never have the final say. Through Jesus, God has already won the victory for us completely and fully. He that committeth sin is of the devil, and for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8 KJV Our God is therefore ready to rise to our defense against the antics of the devil. He is also known as the Man of Honor. He is the Lord of the heavenly hosts, and he desires to release his angels to war on our behalf, whenever battles are stirred by the enemy. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into the city, saith the Lord. For I will defend the city to save it, for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night, that the angel of the Lord went out, and smote in the camp of the Assyrians in a hundred fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. 2 Kings 19, 32-35 KJV His Holy Spirit is also available to empower us, giving us the inner strength to confront spiritual, physical, or emotional battles. The Spirit of God encourages and confronts us in our darkest moment. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah chapter 41, 10 through 15, KJV. As long as God is for us, we are assured of a life of victory. Let us look at two men that God helped marvelously when battles came their way. Their lives encourage us to not flee before the enemy or present a weak front, because Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord God, the man of war, and the head of heaven's armies is on our side. The Bible records that David fought many battles and won in those wars. And the Philistines came up yet again, and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be, when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt bestir thyself, 
For then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And David did go, as the Lord had commanded him, and smote the Philistines from Geba until thou come to Gezer. 2 Samuel 5, 22-25 KJV Here the Philistines came against David, and then he went to God to ask for the appropriate strategy. God answered in the rest is history, as he won despite the enemy's advantage. God's angel joined in the battle to defeat the Philistine army. The second example is King Asa. And Asa had an army of men that bear targets and spears, out of Judah three hundred thousand, and out of Benjamin that bear shields and drew bows, two hundred and fourscore thousand. All these were mighty men of valor. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian, with a host of a thousand thousand, and three hundred chariots, and came unto Maresha. Then Asa went out against him and set the battle in array in the valley of Zephatha at Maresha. And Asa cried out unto the Lord his God, and said, Lord, is it nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power? Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against the multitude. O Lord, thou art our God, let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa, and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them into Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil, and they smote all the cities round about Gerar, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, for there was exceeding much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away sheep and camels in abundance, and returned to Jerusalem. 2 Chronicles 14, 8 through 15, KJV. This was a grossly mismatched battle. The enemy armies far outnumbered King Asa's men, but the number or intensity of the battle coming against us means absolutely nothing to God. His power is potent whether with many adversaries or with few enemies. So he manifested this power and helped Asa and Judah. Asa put his enemies to flight with a resounding victory. Even Apostle Paul said, There are fightings within and fears without. Battles may await us at every turn, but the good news is that we have a powerful shoulder to lean on. Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28 KJV Paul further counsels us thus, Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4, 16 KJV Let us pray. My Father in God, what a comfort to know that in you I have an anchor in all of my life's issues. The world may have the arm of flesh as their strength, but with me is the everlasting arms of my God. In the name of Jesus, I am confident, Lord, that wherever the enemy plans as a mighty flood, your spirit will raise a standard on my behalf. Amen.